Hello there, DLC Pack Donovans. I just wanted to briefly share with you the great news about the uh, DLC Pack 2 coming out for the PC today on the Steam Store. Um, as far as this mission pack goes, I would say this is, in my opinion, the better of the two. Um, I think the, there's some really challenging and very unique missions. Um, like, even from the beginning, they're actually very interesting. Um, of course, there is... I love Mission 5, which is very unique. Um, I love the Underground Mission, one of my favorite Underground Missions as well. Um, what else is here? We have, of course, don't forget Mission 9, which is the best armor farm in the game. If you, if you play this offline on easy, and you, and you take a look at my farming video, um, you can farm 400 armor in 10 minutes on this mission. And also, in my opinion, this is the best weapon farm as well, because there's there's a pillars at the end that spawn silver spiders, and they spawn one every four seconds. So as long as you keep killing them, um, you can just keep those up and just indefinitely get weapon boxes, which I think is one of the best missions, which, once again, I have that on my farming playlist. Um, and also, don't forget about the epic uh, mission that has the four hives and the two pillars, one of my favorite missions. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but a little hint, uh, don't attack the hive from the center point where you spawn in at. <laughs> um, also, um, don't forget about the, um, the weapons. There's some very cool weapons in this DLC pack, too. Uh, let's take a look at these really quickly. Um, for Ranger, you get the uh, the Almighty Broken Gun, as I like to call it, the Blazer. Um, it's a sniper rifle, it's a machine gun, it's a shotgun, it's a missile launcher, it's everything in one. It's so broken. But anyway, it's, it's a good complement for your buster shot. Um, you also get the uh, Almighty uh, Lysander ZF, which is absolute filthy garbage. Um, you get, oh, this rocket launcher is absolutely amazing. I definitely suggest trying this thing out when you get it. It shoots so fast. It's so fun. It's a quick reload. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. Um, what else? The best missile launcher in the game, in my opinion. It's an amazing missile launcher. It like shoot, It's like a high-altitude missile launcher because um, it shoots straight up in the air and comes down, but it has decent damage and it fires really fast. Uh, there's a new stampede. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and also for his items, he gets uh, the, the most amazing uh, sprinting item, which is he has 175% dash speed, 400% acceleration, 160% walk speed, and then turning you can turn while you're running very quickly as well. Um, you can break through obstacles. Um, this is the main item I use for running except for the level 67, which I think is a little bit better sometimes if you need to not get stunned when you're running. But, but anyway, yeah, amazing item for Ranger. Let's take a look at Winged Ever really quickly, really quickly here. She gets the, oh my goodness, she gets this phalanx, you know, I don't even know if I want to talk about this phalanx. It's so broken. But, um, yeah, she gets this and the monster lance. Um, what else does she get? I'm not sure if the spine driver is included or not. If it is, because I don't remember if this is DLC 1 or 2. But this this is a very good laser, in my opinion. It shoots through targets, doesn't have damage fall off. Just the laser short, it has a shorter range. But it has a 471 meter range. Um, she gets the best thunder bow, which is amazing. Um, what else? The Super Pulse Gun, which is a very, very fun weapon. Um, very good weapon. The Ryzen Limit, which is a very, very, one of her best sniper rifles, in my opinion. Um, what else? She gets uh, the Geist, which is garbage. You could throw that in the trash. And I think the Side Blast Walls DLC, DLC Pack 2 as well. Um, so that's a very cool weapon as well, which is actually pretty good um, this time around. And then Air Raider, what does he get? He gets... Um, you can only unlock these on Inferno, by the way. Um, he gets this rocket launcher cannon. He gets the uh, Vesta, the best fire plan uh, bombing air raid, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else? He gets the Limpet. He gets the Limpet Splendor Gun. He gets the Z Laser, which is the best turrets in the game, in my opinion. They shoot through targets. They last forever, kind of like the flamethrower ones. And uh, they just have a quick reload. Well, I mean, they all the same reload, 29.4 seconds. But... Um, Amazing damage, amazing weapon overall, so I definitely think that's a pretty cool weapon. And then he gets the best absolute bunkers as well, which are uh, pretty high damage. I think they're, I think the highest is 90,000 times 5, something around there, I think. And then I think for, he, I think he also gets the best barger. Yeah, the best barger is here, which has 1.25 million health. Um, this Nyx is, oh my goodness, the fastest Nyx, which is an amazing gun. It has two machine guns and then a uh, stampede uh, arm, kind of like the Grenadier. Um, very, very good vehicle. Very fast. The fastest vehicle in the game, for sure. It's faster than the Red Guard when you jump. Um, what else? I think the helicopter is also in the DLC, too. Um, it's a laser, five burst laser helicopter. Pretty good. And he gets a uh, new Grape, which is like automatic shotgun vehicle, which is cool. And I think this Blacker is part of DLC, too, as well. It's an, it's an average tank. And then last of all, Fencer. What does he get? 
He gets the uh, Finest Hammer, another Finest Hammer, which is a little bit better. Um, he also, I think just Quake Hagen is also DLC too, I'm not sure on that one, but uh, very good weapon. It actually shoots forward on the full charge rather than backwards behind you, so this is actually a good Quake Hagen. Um, the best Blast Hole Spear, which is very strong. Um, I think it's uh, about 12,000 for the second attack um, when it's fully maxed out. Um, he gets, what else? He gets the best Gatling, which is pretty decent. He does pretty decent damage per second. I believe it's about 10k, and if you do a wield, it's 20k per second. Great range, 400 meter range. And he gets the Super Heavy Crusher, which is just so fun. It does 21,700 damage, but the blast radius is 60 meters. 60 meters! I mean, yeah, it has a minute reload, but, I mean, you can dash around and just switch to it and get it reloaded, but if you want to kill a group really quickly, that's an amazing weapon for it. And then the Rapid Hound, which is absolutely amazing what missile launcher because it fires so fast that it's it's like an almost like an instant fire so you can dash away right away um, while you're fighting with it so it's, it's a very it's almost like a shotgun a homing shotgun if you would call it that but yeah um, the items are very good um, like I said if you're on the fence um, just check out my playlist on my channel I have let's plays of DLC pack 2 I have a uh, test all weapons for DLC pack 2 for all the classes so you can see them on the field I actually show that it's under the weapons playlist and uh, I think that's everything so I would definitely suggest uh, supporting supporting this DLC by purchasing it if you want to see more you know D EDF ports and just want to see more EDF in general in this in the states um, or, or in the West in general and uh, j I would say just the congratulations screen at the end after you beat the last mission is, is worth it alone the price alone in my opinion but yeah, that'll be all for this one. Just wanted to share that news with you really quickly. And uh, remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind. Ever. And if you're interested in ways to support the channel financially, please consider hitting the join button, which is next to the subscribe button. Or watching a few ads or sharing the channel with someone. It does help financially. It's very much appreciated. Hope to see you on the next video.